Hey, it's me, the that, and this video will be about the new firmware 2.12 or 2.12. Um, the new firmware is installed. There is no near firmware. This one's nearest. Disabling sound. Okay, and now for the exploit. And there we go. At first um, I'm showing that homebrews are running. Let's just use Wagic for this. And let's enable sound. You can see that the homebrew is running without any problems. Next let's use things that are very popular like emulators. This one is an emulator for the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Like in the last video, three examples. Pokemon Crystal. Running at full speed. It's even possible to enable the turbo motors so you can play um, faster than actual time passes so you have a safe game of like 20 hours but just played 3 or 4 hours it's nice for, for um, playing with emulators but you can also disable the turbo motors um, next another popular emulator would be the Game Boy Advance for this we use GPSP. Um, now just run example Pokemon Emerald. One of the Game Boy Advance Pokemon games. Everything working fine. Okay. Um, for the next part, I will run a um, Super Nintendo emulator. Not every half bad loader uh, supports this, but mine can support this. Yes. ROMs Everything is working fine No problems
playing with one hand is not easy. Um, I think L and R was for yes, changing games. Load new game. Um, stuff like Legend of Zelda is working as well. And again, I was too lazy to um, to skip this part just for showing that the games are working. Um, games like Super Mario Kart are also working. So in general, I think every Super Nintendo game should work. Um, if you press select and start and keep it pressed it will exit the homebrew and last but not least like in every video and I think every half byte loader should support this PSP filer you can browse the directions Um, you can even edit the files, it can call the on-screen keyboard. But, well, yeah, that was in general the video about the half byte loader. For the most recent firmware. 2.12 um, There is just one problem um, The half bat loader is working fine and I could release this but the problem is the exploit game is not available in the American or in the Japanese PSN store um, I know it's available in the Australian and the European store. I'm not sure about the um, the Asian store of um, Taiwan, Hong Kong and others. But I know that the American and the Japanese store, the game is not in there. So I think the, the release for um, the exploit game is kind of a waste if just... Um, if you just can get it within um, European or Australian PSN account. Um, I might change my opinion about this if there's a new firmware which adds a um, very nice and cool feature. I don't know, like 220 or 250. But um, keep in mind, I won't release this for the 2.10, 11 or 12. It's, it's too much of a waste for just a European and Australian exploit. Um, yeah, but um, stay tuned. I will inform you about um, further progress of this half byte loader. I might release it for 220, 250, or another firmware which new cool features. But yeah, I'm that and see you soon.